and welcome to the 27th tutorial in the CSS basics tutorial series and in this tutorial we're going to look at the Z index property this tutorial assumes you've done tutorial 1 if you haven't there'll be a link in the description to the source code and as usual there'll be a link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial it's going to go ahead and open up a text editor and inside the text editor we're going to open up the files from tutorial 1 Okay, we're just going to enclose the hello world text inside the div tag. And we're going to assign an ID to it. We're just going to call this blue. Actually, we can get rid of the text. Doesn't really matter. We don't need the text to demonstrate the Z index. We'll just paste that in. Go to close the div tag properly. And we'll just change this ID to red. We'll go back into the index.css, not go back, actually go into it. And we're just going to type in hash blue. And we're going to set its width to 100 pixels, its height to 50 pixels. And we're going to do hash red. And we're going to set its width to 50 pixels, height. To 100 pixels and also set the background color of these IDs as well, all these divs. And I'm going to set this one to red. Let's copy and paste this to save some time. Let's get rid of that and type in blue. Just to show you what it looks like at the moment. If we just load up the web page in a web browser, this is what we've got. We've got the two div tags and one on top of each other. But what we're going to do, we're going to put the position to absolute so it's taken out to the general flow of the website so if I refresh now they're on top of each other if we just go back to our text editor go to HTML the one that came last was the red one that's the reason it's on top but perhaps we want to reorder it so the blue one's on top we can simply just Add a Z index and it's easy. We just add a high Z index, so it's number 10. Go back, refresh it, now the blue's on top. And perhaps we've got loads of different items. Perhaps we've got, I don't know, 10 of them. And we want to, we want this to be above the blue item. Just put 11. Let's make sure we save it. And then go to Chrome, refresh, and we're all good to go. That's the Z index property, it's great for reordering items. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at borders. If you have any questions, feel free to message us. All the required links for the source code will be in the description. And thanks for watching.